What is up YouTube? Coach Tim here, back at it with another video. And today, we're going to be doing a special player, especially in my heart. He was part of the massive big three that helped us win two NBA championships with the Miami Heat. And as you can see by the screen, we're going to be doing Chris Bosh. And we are back in the roster screen. Yay, a real person, woohoo! Yeah. Chris Bosh, really deadly in the Raptors, really deadly on the Heat. You know, sacrificed his role to for the better of the team to win two NBA championships. Could have won three if we beat the Mavericks, but that Mavericks team was really good. So I'm not that mad that we lost. They had a really good deep team. We struggled and they demolished us. So we did deserve to lose that finals. And maybe if we did, didn't did lose that finals, we'd have won, uh, won the last two. So, you know, things happen for a reason. So we're gonna go over the attributes. This build is really nice, really good build. I recommend it, especially if you wanna be Chris Bosh. All right, I'm gonna go through the attributes really quick, you know. Chris Bosch, unfortunately, his career got cut off because of the blood clots. And in that 2016 playoffs, when we went all the way to the semifinals to versus the Raptors, unfortunately, to Game 7, you know, that's when Wade was still, you know, able to dominate the league, still averaging 20-plus points. But if we would have had Chris Bosch in that series, man, in that playoffs, we might we would have definitely beat the Raptors, and we probably would have beat the Cavs next round. and Could have probably went into the NBA Finals. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I really thought we would have went, would have went to the NBA Finals. Maybe not being the Warriors like the Cavs did, but definitely would have put up a fight for sure. Maybe even beat the maybe even beat the Warriors. Who knows? Because there's no one in the Warriors that would have been able to stop Chris Bosh. That's facts. So that's his attributes. We're gonna go through his badges. So that's that's a little thought process I go through if we would have just had Chris Bosh. You know, this, the, he was really deadly. People forget how good he was when he was on the Raptors and then when his his role declined with the Heat because he sacrificed it. A lot of people talk crazy about how like how like he's bad and stuff. And I was like, no, the dude can easily be averaging twenty five and thirteen a game. He just doesn't because he sacrifices his role and just is for the better of the team. So went to the badges. We're gonna go to the my crew builder. Make this Chris Bosch build, baby. So he is a centaur in this game. He is a lefty, and he is number one. Or when I go number four, now we're making the heat, the heat Chris Bosh. All right, the pie chart we're going with is the green and blue chart pie chart because he slashes and shoots really well. The pie chart we went with is the last one because it's an it's an overall uh, balanced one out of every. It's everything, nothing's too OP because he has a good vertical, he has good speed, and he has good strength. And I didn't want to sacrifice too much of something because, you know, strength's too low here, vertical's too low here, speed and vertical are too low here. So we went with one that is, you know, balanced. Attributes, 88 shot close, driving dunk of a 68, driving dunk of a 65, driving dunk, oh, sorry, standing dunk of a 60. He doesn't stand dunk really well. I'm very surprised about that. And post dunk of 80. Mid range of a 74, three point shot of a 70, free throw of a 78, post fade at 84, pass accuracy at a 46, whoop, too high, ball handling at a 49, post moves at 85. All right, those six point making badges are really deadly. You'll be able to use those. We'll see in a second. Interior defense, max. Perimeter stay, lateral stay, steel stay, block out of 50. Unfortunately, we cannot put the defense any more higher because the offense would have been two down and his rebounding would have been two down. 69 defense rebound and a 76 defense rebound. So, I was looking at it here. We have 12 finishing, 19 shooting, 6 playmaking, 2 defending. The 2 defending is, you know, kind of unfortunate. He only had one defensive badge and rim protected, which I think think he could have had a little bit more defensive badges but you know his attributes he did he had a higher block he had a high steal he had decent lateral quickness but we just couldn't we just didn't have enough attribute points to put it on and then if he would have sacrificed too much of the offense it wouldn't really be a Chris Bosch build so an offense is what Chris Bosch was mainly doing not more of a defensive side so we picked offense over defense we went with compact he is 611 he weighs 235 pounds, and his wingspan is at a 88, so leave it at default. So, what are we looking at here? 
We have a shot close 88, max out to 93, driving dunk of 75. You have a standing dunk of a 64, which is unfortunate. You won't be able to get the standing contact dunks. Or would you be able to get the standing dunk? No, nah, I don't remember. I forgot. Sorry, guys. I forgot. Comment down below if I'm wrong. If what, what the standing dunk uh, number is. I forgot. I'm sorry. Yeah, I forgot. My brain's fried. I forgot. Shooting, we're going to have 77 three point shot, which is absolutely awesome. 80 mid range. Actually, 81 mid range, which gets to 9.9. .9. You know. Then your post moves, we're going to get the 90 post moves. You know, your ball handling will be a 57, which is not, you know, amazing. But, you know, for a center, it'll be really good. Interior defense will go to 79. Your rebounding will go to 81. And offensive rebounding will go to a 74. Your physicals, you will go to 89 strength. You'll be able to get a 72 speed. You'll be able to get a 66 acceleration and 66 vert. So, overall, really good build. You know the badges. Could, I wish the badges would have been more, but you know this is to his, this is what to his attributes that he was that 2K gave him. So we're going with that. And for this is where this was tough for me because if we were doing a Raptors Chris Bosh, for sure post post scoring takeover because that dude was in the post most of the time. But on the Heat, he was more of a stretch. He was more really stretching the floor out for LeBron and Wade. So, you know, we went with Sharp Takeover because that's really what he really did. He was mo mostly catch and shoot. And the build we have is an interior finisher. Now, that is absolutely confusing because an interior finisher should not be having Sharp Takeover. So, you know, that confuses a lot of people. And the similar to is really, really good because Nik Nikola Vucevic is really similar to Chris Bosh. Uh, LaMarcus Aldridge, too. Carl St. Towns is really good, too. Those are really good comparisons to Chris Bosh. So, we'll take that. We're gonna test the build out. Interior finisher with sharp takeover. That's crazy. That's that's honestly really annoying. Like to play against that type of build. Like, oh, he's an interior finisher, but he has sharp takeover. Like, what? Like, that's annoying. Yeah. You'll thank me later once you make this build. Now, Chris Bosch. Since he did have rim protector, we're gonna go rebound chaser bronze and rim protector bronze. You know. Or if you want to just yeah, screw rim protector, go rebound chaser. I personally would go rebound chaser, but. Six playmaking, quick first step. Where is post spin? You can go with the post spin or you can go with Neo Threader. But if we're gonna be in the post, run with the post spin. Doesn't hurt to have it. Shooting, you know me, I'm, I'm very basic with this. I'm, I will go with the same thing every video, I do not care. Yep, you will see this every time. I would actually run catch and shoot on gold because you're gonna be doing a lot of catch and shoot with this build. Just like Chris Bosch did with the Miami Heat. So this is bad setup for sure right here. Boom. Finishing. Contact. Slithery because you you will be you could be slashing with this build. And then if you're gonna be in the post, you could probably run some back down punisher. But other than that, Pro Touch Hall of Fame. So, I don't know if you guys know, Pro Touch helps with when you do hooks. You know, if you time it good, you get more boosts for other layups that you don't time good so pro touch for sure hall of fame is really good these are the best that we go with and that my friends is the chris bosch build does he have a jump shot probably not nah doesn't unfortunate well that my friends is the chris bosch build i hope you guys enjoyed the video see you guys in the next one